Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we're going to have a go at painting a beautiful bird of paradise, the Quetzal bird. It's absolutely stunning, it has to be seen to be believed. So just before we get going, I just want to remind you one more time that you can now buy uh, our very own watercolour paper pad, 100% cotton cold pressed paper, 12 sheets in an A4 pad, printed for me by Frisk Watercolour Paper. Um, it's in the Etsy shop and the website shop if you're looking for new paper. And this is the stuff that I use in my videos, so you're guaranteed to get the same results as me when you're painting. So, without further ado, grab your paints and let's get started. So, have you ever seen a Quetzal bird before? I had not, and one of my patrons told me all about it and I couldn't believe it so but I just thought it'd be a really lovely sort of bird of paradise kind of bird to do uh, so we're going to start with an oval on an angle more of an egg shape actually an upside down on an angle egg shape couldn't be clearer than that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that curve to come up and to create another curve and we're going to come down like that and that is creating the beak and the head but really it's creating this amazing mohawk it's plumage of feathers that you get on a quetzal bird and then I feel like I want to say pretzel Anyway, uh, so now we're going to have a wing come in and we're going to create some amazing pointy feathers. And that line is then going to take us down the back into amazing long plumage it's stunning and then all we need to do is get a few extra little feathers on the wing there and just get some legs going on so we'll just make some sort of little pantaloon trousers for our for our little feathery friend and then we want a kind of branch to have the feet on so that is our drawing and I'm going to lightly rub out the pencil. I won't rub it out too much but it is important if you are naturally a sort of heavy handed pencil drawer that you lighten up the pencil, get it quite faint before you start drawing. Now I've got some green tones here, I've got, I just mixed up sap green and now I'm waking up hooker's green which is going to be a really good colour for this bird and green gold is always very useful so we're going to have a bit of fun with this one I can feel it, I can feel it already um, I also want some cadmium yellow just to begin with there'll be other colours coming in too but for now this is what we want okay I think I'll get a a size 2 brush to begin with and I'm going to start with some hookers green and I'm going to just start building the body shape so up we come around the head and the colour is going to come all the way down the back And whilst it's still wet, I'm going to take some sap green, just a little bit darker, and do that. And a little bit of that as well. And that is a lovely way of getting a rounded shape almost immediately. Um, right, next we're going to start to paint in the feathers. So, hook is green. quite a wet hooker's green because we want it to travel and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my 
a two tenths brush and a little bit of green gold and I'm going to create lovely feathery lines coming out of these amazing tail feathers. It's a hot day in the UK and the paint is drying but that's okay. It's nice to get a bit of a blend but then it's also really nice to get some slightly more defined lines on your bird as well. So we'll just add in these little fine lines and then on to the next. Now we're moving on to the wing and I'm going to take the green gold to begin with and we're going to start by just painting in the top curve and what's great is you get a lovely defined shape because the body that we painted first has dried. I'm going to now bring in Hooker's Green and blend that down into these lovely pointy feathers. Now we're going to look at the face, so it's a good idea to pop in a little shape for the eye. And then again we're going to start with green gold and we will sort of incorporate this into the plumage as well. And then we'll take some hookers green and just start around the beak and then I'm going to send it upwards and then also just keep that sort of brush stroke going and send it down that way as well. Now I'm going to get some sap green, some quite concentrated sap green and just do another layer of plumage and send it around the back as well. Now if that hasn't blended in for you, you can always just use a, a clean wet brush to soften it a little bit. But you want to make sure you keep some of that greeny gold colour in there. Okay, so the last few things to do before we do some detail is the colours underneath. So immediately beneath those green pointy wings is a very dark, basically black body. So I've got some Mars black here, I'm just going to wake up. And then also some very red legs, so we need some cadmium red as well. So I'm using my two tenths brush to pick out that fine detail and paint Mars Black in underneath the wing and then these wing feathers are going to just come out over the tail feathers and we'll just get that all coloured in. Now it's the turn of cadmium red legs underneath.
And then I want to paint in a little branch that this bird is sitting on. So I'll get a bit of burnt sienna and then a bit of moon glow is quite nice for a bit of variation or you could use Payne's grey. And I'm just going to use my size 2 brush to paint that in. And then let's use some of that moon glow on its own to capture a little bit of a little bit of texture on the branch and then we can pop in some slightly gnarly feet just with some Mars black and I'll just leave the back sides of those feet until the branch is dried and we can <clears throat> get that all detailed in. Right, it's time for my favourite part. It's time for detail. So I want to quickly mix up some cobalt turquoise, which will just be a really fantastic addition to this bird's plumage because you do see in certain photos it looks quite turquoisey when it hits the light in a certain way. Mix that with a little bit of hooker's green and we've got a great tone. So we'll start with that. So I'm using a ooh, two tenths. That's a three tenths. Let's use a two tenths. Okie dokie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this slightly concentrated colour to get a nice bit of texture, of feathery texture on the bird just by making little marks with the brush down the back and then I'm going to add like a little bit more water on the brush a nice little line of colour down there and then I'm going to just add a few more little little lines little marks and I'm going to clean the brush off and just now paint in some slightly more dilute colours and even sort of smooth them in and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add a little line of these V's and just sort of smooth the colour down into those. Maybe get a little bit more colour on the brush. Just trying to create a nice sort of feathery texture before then just adding quite a concentrated line down into these wings here. nice. I'm going to use this colour again for a little extra bit of colour around the eye just across the top of the head and that's looking pretty wonderful I'm very pleased with that. We need to do little things like the beak so I'll get some cadmium yellow get that in there and actually just a little bit of a ring around the eye. Whilst that dries I need to add a sort of shadow of a 
of a white feather just coming down here so I've got a very dilute shadow mix there so just a few little tail feathers like that in fact that looks a little bit like the branch so I'm just going to take a little bit of stronger brown and just sort of turn that into a more obvious branch there just so no one gets confused and then just a little bit of cadmium red just a few more extra little textures and then just a few extra little feathers just overlapping onto those white feathers like that and we're going to give it one last chance to dry and put in a little dot for the eye so to finish off a little bit of Mars black on a detailed brush a little brush Just try and leave just that tiny bit of unpainted space and a little beak like that so there you have a quetzal bird but also i hope a useful little bit of a bird painting and drawing tutorial thanks so much for watching i'll see you again next time Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that one. We have got more bird painting tutorials and other animals in our illustration playlist if you enjoyed that. So go and have a look at those. I want to say a massive thank you to my patrons for their support because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed this one, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with it. And of course, if you never want to miss another video, then hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell and we we will see you again next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!